And how's it going guys? Before this video starts, I gotta tell you about a free, small cinematic sound pack that my bro Nate and I collabed on. It's absolutely free, no strings attached. Check it out, download it, and tell me what you think. If you have Instagram, you definitely would know what a boomerang is. What's up guys, it's Josh Olufemi. And I'm Chris Simon. Chris is one of my best friends and he owns the company Dareblock. It's the company that produces all my music videos. We, we just literally got back from Dallas, Texas. We just shot two really dope music videos for our bro Dewana. And now we're here in the middle of a hotel right across the street from Disneyland. And we want to tell you a little bit about the boomerang effect. The boomerang effect is basically a piece of footage that is looped where it alternates between going forwards and then going backwards. However, those of you guys that have tried creating boomerangs in Premiere Pro know that it's not just as easy as splitting the footage into two clips and then reversing the second clip. It's still not that hard though. Actually on that trip that we went on Dallas, you know, we tried this effect a few times on a lot of really key shots and it came out really great. We're going to be using Premiere again for this tutorial and as we're waiting for Premiere to load up, I'm going to again tell you about our channel sponsor, Envato Elements. I use so much stock footage when I'm editing my tutorials, when I need aerial b-roll for my music videos or doing dope sky replacements. Normal stock footage though costs between $50 or $200 for every clip. What if you could have unlimited downloads for all the stock footage that you could ever need for only $9? Envato Elements is not only a subscription service that gives you unlimited downloads to a massive stock footage library, it also has over 500,000 VFX packs, title packs, royalty-free music, sound effects packs, footage overlays, and so much more. Envato Elements is a solution and it's only $33 a month. And through the link below, you can get the first month for only $9. And the best thing is you can cancel literally anytime without any extra fees. So let's check the tutorial out. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a vintage boomerang effect. It's gonna look like this. It's kind of a cool uh, deviation from the normal boomerang effect that you'd make uh, on your phone, on Instagram, using the capabilities of Adobe Premiere. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with these three clips. Check it out, this is the normal footage. <laughs> Just from the club. Cool, what we're gonna do is I'm now going to go on to this first clip. I'm gonna go to Lumetri Color. I'm gonna bring the saturation down. I'm gonna do that for all three clips actually. The third clip, bring the saturation down. Cool, then I'm gonna go to Effects. I'm gonna go to Posterize Time. And I'm gonna bring it on to this clip. I'm gonna bring it on to this clip and I'm gonna bring it on to the third clip. Then I'm going to bring posterized time, the frame rate down to 11. It's gonna kind of give you your stuttery look. Do that for each clip. And the last clip, perfect. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to now boomerang each of these. All you gotta do is we're gonna go in and um, we're going to find where we want the boomerang to end. We want it to end right there. So we're gonna actually cut this clip. And normally um, you think, oh, okay, to do a normal boomerang, all you'd have to do is cut this and reverse this side. The reason why you don't wanna just go and reverse this side is you're gonna get that jump. It's not gonna be a clean reversal because because this clip doesn't necessarily start here, it starts like back there somewhere. I don't even know where it starts, it keeps going. Um, it's not, uh, the in and out points, um, as far as where that reverse should start is not going to be where you want it for premiere. So in, inside of premiere, so what you want to do, um, is you want to delete that second clip and you're going to nest this first clip and then you're going to hold alt down and you're going to du duplicate it by holding alt down and then, um, bringing the clip to the side. And now what you have is you have a new clip once you've nested it. This is the exact start point. This is the exact end point. And so when you duplicate it and then do what we're going to do, we're going to reverse this second clip. It's going to reverse from this, from the actual new beginning, which is um, right here. And um, because you've nested it. So you've stated a clear beginning and a clear end. And as you see, there's gonna be no jump. It's gonna be a clean boomerang like this. Cool. 
I'm going to do that again just in case you guys missed it with this clip. So let's start from here. Let's boomerang ending starting from here. This We're going to boomerang starting from this point. So we're going to click blade. Then we're not going to just reverse this clip. We're going to actually delete this clip. We're going to nest this clip by right clicking in the nest. Don't worry about the name. Then we're going to hold all down again and duplicate the clip. And then we're going to right click on this clip and we're going to go to speed and duration and we're going to reverse the speed. And this is what you get. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to do the same on this third clip now. Okay. I want you to notice that this posterized time when it's at 11 is basically make keep driving down your frame rate to 11 frames per second. So it's giving you this cool stuttery look. It's kind of cool. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to boomerang from that point. So we're going to again, slice, delete, right click, nest, okay, don't worry about the name, hold alt down, duplicate the clip, right click on the second clip that we've just made, speed and duration, reverse speed, okay. And let's play through it. Cool. Now, we're going to go back to this first clip, play through this one one more time. Okay, I don't know if you saw that slight like pause once right before it began to reverse. And then you'll see it here too, I believe. I want to take that pause away. That's because you're actually seeing a duplication of the last frame and the first frame of the reverse, which is actually the same frame. So it seems like it's going to it seems like it's kind of freezing in place. So all we're going to do is we're going to cut the end off of that last frame and then cut the end off of this first frame. And then we're going to bring everything back together and it'll be more of a smooth boomerang. We're going to do the same thing here. So we have these two clips that are together, as we know, that we've boomeranged. We're going to just cut the last frame off the first clip and then the first claim frame off of the next clip and then bring it together. And we're going to have a smoother boomerang. Perfect. We're going to go to the next one. I didn't really see it as much there, but we'll do it just because for kicks and giggles. There we go. Let's zoom out a little bit. And then, perfect. Good stuff. Okay, so we're going to put all these boomerangs together. And we're going to play through it. Cool. You can control the length of the boomerangs just by, uh, let's go back. Again, you can control the length of the boomerangs just by controlling the length of this first clip. If it's really short um, and you double it, double that short clip, it'll be a shorter boomerang. Pretty intuitive. Okay, cool. So now, how do you add that vintage film effect? Well, um, I actually have it right here. So I duplicate this one from the finished one over here. This is uh, the file, as you can see, is called HD Perv One. Um, this is a effect that you can buy over at Cinepacks.com. That uh, my bro um, Tyler Casey actually has made um, available to you for free. So, correction: you don't actually have to buy it. You can actually get it for free. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to show you how to use this. Usually, um, it, the opacity is going to be on normal. Once you buy the pack, and I'll show you how to buy it in a second, it's going to look like this. You bring it over your footage, and then you click on it, and then you just go to opacity, blend mode. Make sure it's from it, you change it from normal to screen. That'll make anything black transparent. And there you go. That's a pretty cool look. What you have is you have a vintage boomerang. Um, what this kind of did in this video um, was for my music video, I had normal looking footage and we kind of cut to this vintage boomerang footage when it was kind of like a, a memory. So he was kind of reminiscing at his time when he was partying in the club. And so I kind of thought this vintage boomerang look or effect kind of ma made it seem like it was a memory as opposed to happening in real time. So it's kind of cool. All right. So I'm going to go to... Uh, cinepacks.com show you how to do this. So you go to cinepacks.store and then you go to free packs 
and then you go to super eight millimeter film FX and then you add to cart and you buy it and that's it. You proceed to check out, it's absolutely free. They'll send you an email like they did here and you just go and you click on the download link. It's pretty simple. Shout out to Tyler Casey and Cinepax. I think it's a pretty cool website. Um, thank you so much for watching guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.